This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. Senior Māori leaders say there's been a significant step forward over water rights after the Prime Minister pledged not to legislate against Māori interests in water. He gave the undertaking following talks with the Māori Party, but as political editor Corin Dan reports, court action is still a possibility. Prime Minister John Key was out playing firefighter today. It's a pretty easy thing to drive to. But last night he was dousing a political fire. We've never been of the view to, to legislate against rights and interests. That was an assurance I gave them last night. I was happy to put that in writing. But while the pledge may not have seemed like a big deal to John Key, it is being seen as a big deal by some leading Māori. What it does is that it provides some guarantee to our people that there will not be any legislation in the same way that Labour did uh, with the seabed for sure. The Māori Party's role in getting the pledge not to legislate is also earning big plaudits, even from adversaries. I applaud what they have achieved. I believe they're now walking in the footsteps of their talk. However, while last night's meeting has eased tensions, the threat of legal action is not being ruled out by Māori or the Crown. John Key conceding it's conceivable the government may have to legislate one day to establish that no one owns water. In theory, but one would hope it wouldn't come to that. I, I, look, I think at the end of the day that's, that's you know, not the preferred option. Meanwhile, the Waitangi Tribunal hearing on water is in its final summing up stages. However, the debate's been a little distracted by a Māori Council allegation that the Ministry of Justice has breached an agreement on legal aid. This is a racist institution trying to get the Māori Council to conform. However, the Ministry of Justice says the Māori Council was filed inaccurate and incomplete invoices, and that's causing delays in payments. It says all up it has set aside $850,000 for the hearing. Corin Dan, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.